Welcome to another video. Today I will show you how you can improve your Nikon camera with these two accessories. They are the DK17M and DK19. The DK17M is a magnifying eyepiece. It's uh, made in Japan and it's a 1.2 magnifier. And DK19 is a rubber eye cap that will uh, help you when you hold the camera to your eye, it will block the light from the sides. To install the DK19 only, this is how you do it. First, you have to close the viewfinder. You just click it like this. And after you do that, you can unscrew the stock viewfinder. The original viewfinder doesn't magnify and it has a small um, rubber piece around it to protect your eye. You can remove the rubber piece. This is how you fit the DK19 eye cap into the stock viewfinder. You gently put it in place, don't try to force it too much, it will uh, fit. Just make sure it's aligned properly. Check it on the sides and rotate it so it shows that it's uh, nice and even. The next step is to place the ring supplied with the DK19 over it so that it doesn't slip and you don't lose it when you use the camera. Before installing it into the camera, just use a rocket blower to remove any dust that you might have. When you place the eye cap and the viewfinder on the camera, rotate it a bit counterclockwise so that it aligns with the threads more easily. When you feel like it's straight, you can start rotating clockwise and it will screw it in place. When it stops spinning, it's done and you're ready to go. You can see in this way, there is a bit of distance now from, from the camera. This helps a bit and especially it helps with the sunlight from the sides. And this is how the stock viewfinder looks like. Okay, the next step after showing you this, I will show you how you can install the DK17M magnifying viewfinder with a 1.2x magnifying factor. These are the instructions if anyone is interested in reading them. Two things to note here is that Nikon mentions that it might restrict the view a bit and uh, you should not keep it in a hot car. This is how the eyepiece looks like. It has a magnifying factor of 1.2 and it looks like it has anti-reflective coating on it and there is also a protective sleeve around it. The difference is not very much but inside the viewfinder this will make a big difference. Okay, to install it the same thing as before, we close the viewfinder, we unscrew the previous one and first I want to show you how you can install it just as it is because it has the rubber protection on it so you can just screw it in the same as the other one before and uh, you can just use it as it is.
The new eyepiece is installed and I can still see the information on the bottom of the viewfinder. And uh, now it protrudes out a bit more and now there is a lower chance of rubbing your nose or face on the LCD screen. The next step is to install the DK19 on the DK17M. Remove the rubber cup from the old eyepiece. And keep this ring, you will need it later. Fit the old eyepiece into the old rubber eye protection and keep them in your bag just in case you need to use them. You will need to remove the rubber gasket or the protection, the eye protection from the DK17M. To remove it, you just uh, do it like before, just pull it from one side like this. Fit the rubber cup on the eyepiece, just like before, where you have this ring that goes around it. And this time it actually fits a bit easier than the previous one. So this is how you do it. Just make sure it's even around it and it should look something like this. To avoid losing your rubber eye cup, you have to install this metal ring that puts pressure on it to hold it together. Then you will install the spacer that keeps the space between the eye cup and eyepiece closed. So first let's put the metal ring around the rubber gasket. Just make sure it's fitted evenly. Then you put the spacer, the plastic spacer that was provided with the DK17M. Remove any dust that you might have at the back of the viewfinder. And as it is, just place it on the camera and start screwing it in, just like the other ones, like before. Once it's fitted, the viewfinder will come out from the camera a bit more and once you look through the viewfinder you will see that you can actually see the information on the bottom of the viewfinder and you can look around and see uh, the edges you just have to move your head a bit actually but still you can do it so it's not blocking really anything but it's making the whole screen bigger and the rubber eye cap will block the sunlight from your eyes so it's easy to to use the camera like this and you will not touch the LCD screen with your face or your nose because it's coming out a bit more than before. 
it's really flexible and comfortable to use so i give it a really thumbs up double thumbs up if you found this video helpful please help me also and give it a like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it or if you got it and how you feel about it if you like it or you don't like it thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye